Professor Bülent Ekmekçi joins us now live from Zonguldak in Turkey. Thank you so much, Professor, for joining us here on the program. It's a pleasure having you. Just first off, talk to us about uh, the space mission and the actual uh, pocket rocket itself. Uh, uh, yes, the, first of all, uh, the pocket cube is designed by a team by undergrad students, and this will make a sense to me to that. Uh, it's the first real satellite that completely designed and produced by undergrad level students. The second is that uh, it's the smallest one for Turkey, and it's also the first experience for example that plant Egypt University. All of these things make us so excited. Right, and um, this is again another uh, fantastic milestone of this team that you mentioned is of undergrad students uh, and only 15 of them. And I'm sure that they have many, many more projects under their belt uh, at the moment. How do they feel about this launch? Um, right now, we are just waiting for the launch time and uh, it's a uh, like a long-term optional project, and I do not need to grade it. The project offers only the way to help catch your dreams. Right now, I see that our dream is about to grab it. This makes me so excited. Makes us all excited, Professor. Um, and we've seen Turkey uh, expand its operations in the space world in recent time. Uh, we've seen uh, President Erdogan hold meetings with Elon Musk. What's the bigger goal here for Turkey? Uh, first of all, uh, it's an experimental purpose satellite and capable of doing some basic communication tasks. Amateur radio operators can also track our satellite all around the world. By the way, we also check the functionality of our subsystem, analyze the sensor data, such as temperature and gyro. Uh, this will help a lot to set our future dream. This way, uh, we will obtain a tested and qualified pocket cube platform that can be modified for future needs. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of future needs, do you expect the mini satellite to be the future? Yes, that's right. Uh, there are internet of things, and uh, we know that uh, if you just send uh, dozens of, several dozens of uh, pocket cubes, then you can uh, get a global coverage. And uh, all of these things uh, will make a solution for uh, many sectors, such as agriculture, uh, navigation, uh, etc. All right, Professor Bülent Ekmekçe, it was a pleasure having you here on the NewsHour. And uh, the Grizu 263A is expected to launch at Cape Canaveral at 1530 GMT. We are keeping our eyes close on that. Thank you, Professor, again for joining us here on the program.